Hello everybody, I'm GTG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to continue with our Golden Mops plugin and in this episode 2 of the Golden Mops plugin we are going to adjust the drops of our mobs. So now that I made a joke, let's go into the coding. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new event handler. Public void on zombie killed. And it's going to be an entity def event e. And what we want to do, it's an entity def event. We want to check if either get entity is equal to or instance of, in our case, zombie. Well, if it's Instead of zombie, what we want to do is we want to get the zombie. Zombie, zombie equals cast to zombie because either get entity will return a living entity. And there's something I did over here to make sure that we can find back whether it was a normal zombie or a custom zombie. And that is the, uh, the, the, the custom name. Sorry, the custom name. So if zombie dot get custom name is equal to check color dot gray we will start with the silver zombie plus zombie so what we want to do to adjust the drops of the zombie it's really easy we want to do e dot get drops and first i want to just clear it so if it has uh, rotten flesh or whatever no we're not going to do that today we are going to do e dot get drops and as you can see, it returns a list of item stack. And if you know from previous episodes uh, with lists, you can just do dot add. And then we can see we just create a new item stack. And uh, for the silver zombie, let's just do material dot iron ingot. I know zombies can normally uh, give that, but the silver zombie is guaranteed to give at least one iron ingot. Of course, you can just change it to the... Uh, item you like and then to just do a, uh, a quick trick just do this and then what we want to do is else because it is either a silver zombie or it's something else so else if zombie equals check color dot as you can see over here gold then we're just gonna give the player a gold ingot and legendary zombie I'm not gonna spoil it I have something else for that in mind than an item drop so just do else if Zombie custom name equals check color dot dark purple as you can see over there dark purple and then we do legendary Zombie and what I want to do over here for now is just remove the at uh, line and just do bucket dot broadcast message And then we just want to do check color dot let's say gold plus legendary zombie slain and don't forget to end with a semicolon. And that's actually how easy it is to uh, manipulate the drops, the custom drops. So we're going to check it out on the server now. But just keep in mind, you can just keep adding lists over here. And yeah, that's it. Let's go check this out on the server. So we're inside Minecraft now. Start up the server as always. And let's go take a look at what we have created. And as you can see, our arena from the last time. And I'm just going to spawn in a zombie. And this one seems regular, so if we kill it, it should just, that's a debug message, it should just give us a regular drop, but uh, let's go find a, uh, a gold one, should give us a gold ingot, and as you can see, this one was already in my inventory, it did not drop from the normal zombie, and uh, yes, it did give a gold ingot, and that's actually it for this episode, hope you enjoyed, if you did, Leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comment box or in the description box, you will find a link to the official GHG Discord. Oh, look, this is a nice outro scene, by the way, the GHG. Uh, to the Discord, where you can ask questions and give feedback or just general chat, whatever. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.